Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. This time we're taking a look at our recently built island prison, but in 3D because we haven't done that in quite some time. And I just am um, interested to see what it looks like from a different perspective. And also, does it look a bit like Alcatraz? Uh, no, it looks nothing like it, I guess. But I mean, in the sense that it's an island that's basically been filled with stone and concrete, yes, it does have that same sort of theme and feel but um well not really anyway let's just uh, take a tour of this thing and we'll start from where we normally do which is where the trucks come in so the trucks will come in here as you can see we've got some 3d lights it's been so long um for me checking this thing out in 3d that i can't remember exactly what was um added or went, what has been added potentially. Uh, we do have the officers on the right hand side, you can see we've got the staff doors there, we're all modelled, same as most if not all of the office furniture. Yes, so we've got uh, the computer there, we've got the uh, filing cabinet as well as the um, seat there as well. We do have all of the staff which are modelled on most of them, so the, the is that the lawyer or the accountant? Uh, accountant. So the accountant isn't 3D, however the foreman is, the chief is, um, and the warden is, however the lawyer is not. And you can see that the guards are in here in the... Uh, strangely, of all things that have been modelled in 3D, I wouldn't have expected these soda machines, but there you go. So yeah, the drinks machines are modelled as well as, as you can see, the um, settees and sofas and chairs. We come over to here and there's... Interesting, there's like a horrible cutting noise and loads of blood on the floor. Let's just move on. So across the <laughs> across the uh, main walkway of this thing, and arcades are loud, uh, we can see that from the left and right we have our water. Um, no animations on it, sadly, and yeah, we do. We are certainly um, on like a sort of flat, uh, definitely, definitely flat earth uh, around here, uh, and actually square as well. Very disc worldy. There's a K9 unit. Um, you can see that they are both modelled, uh, the dog and the person who holds it. We have our main entrance way in here. This is the only entrance uh, that we have into the main facility with our metal detector there, which will uh, not detect us. Uh, we do have once again some office furniture in there as well. Well, some tables but sadly this isn't 3d if we go to the right we can see we have all of the boxes as well as the uh, the staff here the workers who's got a severe case of nerd hunch by the look of it as well if we go over into the kitchen we're actually gonna go through the wall there we can see this is modeled actually quite nicely we've got all of these chefs we've got all of the serving trays which are 3d as well I can't remember if I've uh, noted that before. Uh, the bins there as well, which are 3D. They are hovering a little bit above the ground, which is interesting. We've got the potatoes, which are modelled, as well as the cabbages and uh, the bacon as well. You notice it says cooker there. That's because the the what you're looking at, what you're, cl what you're clicking on, is not... Well, where the mouse pointer is, it's not what... Uh, where there's actually set. It's uh, just a bit iffy that way. We do have the power switch as well as the pipe valve there but they're not in 3d sadly but uh, the the cookers are which is nice if we go over to this side we can see that we have the visitor booths i guess they are and they are again not 3d in the infirmary the infirmary desks are and you can see that person is actually being healed there so we've got some blood on the floor oh, that's not blood it's actually some red crosses there and um Wow, looks very surprised. To be fair, they've just been healed and then pushed right off the bed, so they're probably in shock. Um, and yeah, the, they like the medical beds are quite nice. So they've got this like the drip with the uh, the little line there as well, which is quite good. There is a security camera, which again I can't remember whether I've seen that before, but it doesn't move, it doesn't animate, so it doesn't go left and right. But I'm guessing the I'm guessing it will still sweep. I can't really tell because we have some staff in and around there. Um, speaking of staff, in this room here, the psychologist's office, it looks very cold. The whole place does look cold. Um, they are actually looking directly at us. There we are. Uh, they are wandering around there, and um, sadly they're not 3D. Also, um, they've all got the same picture on the desk. Maybe it comes with the desk. Uh, the morgue, obviously not modelled. We do have in the... Oh, this is actually quite decent. So, in the common room most of this is modeled so uh, oh yeah you can see that actually uh, that's not moving but the the line of sight is sweeping uh, so the bench and the tables are all in uh, the phone booths are in there too which is quite nice and also the pool tables as well when they're using it I don't think we see balls clacking around that would uh, 
is a bit of a shame that uh, we don't see them actually playing pool. Uh, and then we've got the TVs there as well, which, yeah, I wouldn't like to be sitting there. There's no way you're going to be seeing anything. Anyway, we come out and in and around, we have these school desks, which are quite large and actually clip inside one another, but that's not really too much of a problem. There's nothing at all in, strangely, in the... Um, in the chapel that's 3D. If we go into here, this is where we have um, some more armed guards there as well as a sniper and they're all 3D. Go through this door here and this is where we've got the protective custody. So strangely the <laughs> the laundry baskets are 3D but the uh, uniforms themselves are not. There's some weight benches but they don't have any weights on them and this is the first time we see some cells. So each cell has the shower head, it has the uh, toilet and sink bit on the top I guess as well as the bed and I was about to say that the drain isn't um, 3D, but to be fair, it's on the floor. It doesn't need to be. Um, you can see that we do have um, some prisoners sleeping, and yes, we can see underneath them. And uh, we'll zoom back out and go back to the centre here. So this is where we've got our yard, and it looks quite good, and that's the view I was waiting to see. So we've got our yard, so a lot of guards in and around it. Um, this is sort of what the prisoners would see, a very oppressive thing. For a scout, the sky is completely grey, and um, obviously it's just concrete, 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 and then you go there and, ah yes, we have <laughs> two guard towers, uh, two sniper towers rather, with the snipers actually up top as well. Um, I think previously they used to sit down the bottom if I remember rightly, but there you go, they're in there. If we go in here, we can see we now have the 3D um, CCTV monitors, we have the phone tap, which is actually quite nice, as well as the uh, door control system. Nothing in the armory apart from the desk is modelled, uh, nor are the dog crates, which is a shame. We'll have another close-up um, with that, and uh, yeah, that's a pretty good view. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do like that. And you can see all the uh, the snipers there looking out. Uh, we're going to go into... Where should we go from here? Right, so protective custody we've done. Um, this is our holding cell. Same stuff in there again. And then into solitary confinement, which looks like a lot of them are pretty much standing inside the toilet. That's suboptimal. Um, one way to wash your shoes, I guess. Going over to... I guess you would class it as like the extra section of the prison. This is where we've got things you don't necessarily need. So you don't need a library or... Um, or a store, but it's it's useful to have. Most of that isn't modelled, uh, although that would be quite nice to see the shop because that, that would all be uh, like three D packaging and stuff, and that would be quite good. Uh, the parole, sorry, the uh, parole isn't um, doesn't have any three D desk. I thought that was uh, modelled, but apparently not. In here, you can see that the laundry machines are a lot smaller than you would expect. The uh, I would expect them to be the bigger. Uh, sort of laundry type industrial ones but I uh, know. Um, we have got some ironing boards as well as uh, some of the other stuff in there so that's all in there. Oh and actually see it's um, being used as well. We've got our <laughs> we've got our janitor there moving the laundry basket about. Further to the back there we do have the we do have the poison which is orientating. You can see it is rotating as we turn the camera there so it does look a bit better but that's not in 3D. What is in 3D however is all of the workshop stuff which sadly it's not lined up properly though. So you can see the presses there and the saws there. That looks really nasty without any guards on or anything. Um, not, not guards. We certainly don't want to put a guard on that, although I'm sure some prisoners will try. What I mean is a guard over the blade uh, and some sort of protection, not just a random 12-inch spinning disc uh, free, just going around and cutting whatever it likes, uh, which includes but it's not limited to prisoners' hands, feet, other extremities are available. Right, so we've got the press, which you can see is producing license plates, which is good. Um, They're all the same, though. They're all 1231.81, so apparently someone needs an over... <laughs> There's an overabundance of that being produced. Um, so we've got uh, the presses there, and they look quite nice as well. And the sheet metal as well, but that is huge. It's not even that size. It's uh, like it's only that size normally. And these are also, yeah, they're in stacks of four. I guess that's what they are in the game, but they're also shrunk right down. Anyway, that's in there. We will go back over to the shower and... The shower looks interesting because obviously they're now free-floating because normally you put these shower heads on the wall and that's what they look fine that way, whereas this way, um, well, they just look weird. Oh, actually, they look like they're sort of hanging from the ceiling, which is quite nice. And we're going to work our way through here and, yeah, this is uh, giving you a true perspective of what it's like. So they come down here, 
come through here and then through this little corridor here and that's why they were fighting a lot in the uh, previous uh, videos you can see this wall here that is actually set to a wall even though that is a fence which is a shame because uh, it would be nice to see like that uh, have some transparent sections in it uh, it's nice when you put um, windows in it as well oh look at that they're all getting escorted through here that's pretty good we'll follow them in so uh, door automatically opens we go through the metal detector and they're, be they're being escorted to their cell we're going to follow uh, this fella here we'll go all the way down and see what happens and they're being escorted to their cell so they're getting put in he'll walk out and then the door will probably close behind them there we go each cell obviously has the same uh, same stuff in it it has a bed at the back and then right near the front you've got your toilet slash i uh, normally it's a wash basin on the top isn't it or something like that um and there you're at and we're not going to go through the rest of that one because we've already seen we know what that looks like we've seen one cell we've seen them all um the only thing we haven't looked at really is the power a bit here so right back here we can see we have our water pump and power station it's all in um it's not it's actually not really in a a very decent state to look at because it's all black and white so what i'm going to do is select that person there and then i'm going to send them over there you notice my mouse is on the sort of right hand side there but the uh, actual pointer is over there you can uh, like orientate the camera so it does line up but as soon as you move like rotate the camera or change the pitch and rotation it just goes all over the place so we're going to come in here and we'll see it yes there we go that's much better so we have our water pump at the back here um, in blue naturally and got like these two big vessels followed by the pump there although good grief don't know no, no idea what that is capacitors which would uh, at that size there enough to i wouldn't say kill person uh, it certainly will do that but it'll probably blow them to smithereens um if that was <laughs> completely charged um assuming it's not you know assuming the it's for uh, to scale anyway and then we've got our power uh, station in the middle which I think does have does it have any lights on it uh, no it does not which is a bit of a shame and obviously we've got the same round the back there which we uh, no need to check out anyway that's been a little bit of a tour of our um, latest facility in 3D oh one thing I wanted to do um, no no that is a perimeter wall and it's no different to any of the other walls in fact that's a perimeter wall and that is a fence so they're exactly the same the, the walls have changed they used to be uh, rougher uh, previously and uh, yeah so yeah it's actually decent to look at it from uh, from these angles so like a helicopter angles if they were flying in mm, I wouldn't say it's got the Alc it's got the Alcatraz vibe in the terms you know in the sense that it's it's an island with a lot of walls around it um, I believe there is a f I think there is a fairly big cell block on one side of the island anywhere and there certainly is the guard stuff but apart from that I guess the sort of similarities end but, uh, yeah, it's been interesting taking a look at the facility in 3D. I wonder if Paradox um, expand upon this. Obviously, they're now the owners of it. They'll be doing whatever they can. Um, I don't know what would be added by making it 3D, though. Um, apart from the fact that just more options are generally better. People might want to play it in 3D rather than 2D. Although, obviously, they'd have to uh, fix it and put all the other stuff in. But it's not... Uh, I don't think it's unreasonable to assume that they would uh, would do that. I mean, it's not uh, beyond the realm of possibility. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed this little tour and a look around the facility. It is a fairly dank, depressing, horrible facility, which is exactly what we're aiming for. So, uh, yeah, plus 10 success points, I guess, on that regard. <laughs> yeah, on that front and stuff. Yeah, either way, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.